problem number four for forces and components. Okay, the horizontal and vertical components of the force are positive 150 kilonewton and negative 300 kilonewton respectively. Determine the force and the inclination of the force with respect to the x and y axis. So, gawa tayo ng axis natin. So, this is y. This is x. So, maling ito yung ating origin. At yung ating mga components daw is positive 150 kilonewton which is yun yung ating horizontal component. So, therefore, since positive, yung ating horizontal component is to the right. Okay? So, this is positive 150 kilonewton. At yung ating vertical component is negative 300. Therefore, downward yung ating uh, okay, vertical component na equals to negative 300 kilonewton. So ngayon, determine na natin yung force ay yung resultant and yung inclination niya with respect to x and y axis. Since ang ating uh, mga components is downward and to the right, therefore yung ating resultant is downward to the right. Force F. Okay? So, uh, gagamit natin yung kanyang mga force vector para, para makagawa tayo ng uh, okay, parallelogram. The parallelogram natin ito is rectangle. So, this is also negative 300. And ito naman yung ating positive 150. At yung ating F is yung diagonal ng ating parallelogram na rectangle. And this is 90 degrees. And this is hypotenuse na F. Therefore, para makuha yung F, okay, nakalimutan natin, nakalimutan kong pangitin sa introduction ng ating forces and components, yung isa pang equation na gagamitin natin. So, yung F, o yung resultant natin is equals to square root of, okay, uh, uh, Px squared plus Py squared. Or simply, uh, makukuha yung ating resultant by using Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, yung force F natin is equals to square root of 150 squared plus 300 squared. Kaya yung force F natin or resultant is equals to 335.41 kilo newton. At ang direction niya is downward to the right. Okay? Next naman, kunin raw natin yung inclination niya with respect to x-axis and y-axis. So, ito yung inclination niya sa so, x-axis. Ang rotation niya is clockwise. So, expect natin na negative yung makukuha natin na theta x. So, theta x is equals to arc tan of opposite 300. So, negative 300 over positive 100. 50, which is equals to negative 63.435 degrees. So, ibig sabihin lamang ng negative, ang rotation niya with respect to x-axis is clockwise. So, tama yung kanyang rotation. Next, yung ante namang theta y. So, syempre, mag-start tayo ito. Kung i-rotate natin ito, mag-start tayo sa y para makuha yung angle. Ang rotation niya is counter clockwise. Okay? Kaya ang makukuha natin dito is dapat okay, positive. And kung babalik na rin natin ito, yung ating 150 is positive. Yung ating 300 is also positive kasi to the right. Okay? So yung ating theta y is equals to arctan of opposite which is equals to 150 and adjacent which is equals to positive 300. Kaya ang kukuha natin is positive 26.2 or 26.565 degrees. Okay? So, ganun yung tamang pagkuha ng ating resultant and pagkuha ng ating inclination with respect to x and y axis or simply para makuha yung ating theta y it is equals to 90 degrees minus theta x, which is equal to 26.565 degrees. Okay? 
So yung mga yung problem 1 to 3 natin, ang mga given doon is mga inclined forces o yung mga resultant. And ang kinukuha natin doon natin doon is yung mga components niya na horizontal and vertical components and kumuha rin tayo ng tangential and uh, or parallel and normal or perpendicular components. At ito naman, ang kinuha naman natin is yung ating mismong resultant ay yung kanyang inclination with respect to x and y axis. So, that is our problem number 4 for forces and components. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.